The East Coast Rep Rep Festival is over and my family and I had an amazing time. But sadly, it's the last East Coast Rep Rep Festival we're ever gonna go to. Let's talk about that. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. So this past weekend, my family and I flew out to Baltimore and then drove into Bel Air, Maryland for the East Coast Rep Rep Festival, also known as Earth. We really had an amazing time. It was the first time that my little guy had ever been to one of these shows. And as far as my wife goes, it's been a few years since she's been to one. And I gotta tell you, it is becoming more and more family friendly every show we go to, which is really cool. The whole show was just absolutely amazing from the vendors to the exhibitors to the different races. And it was really enjoyable just pretty much the whole weekend. They had over 2,000 people come through the door and you could see how busy it was on Saturday while I took five minutes to actually sit down and eat a piece of pizza. Speaking of my little guy, I didn't know how it was gonna go. He is three years old and he'd never been to something like this. And if you know three-year-olds, they don't exactly focus on one thing for a super long period of time, but there was so much for him to see. And he absolutely fell in love with the droids. I believe it was the Mid-Atlantic droid builders uh, that were there and they had a whole bunch of droids from R2-D2s to BB-8s to all of the ones I can't name because I don't remember the names. <laughs> but they were there and they were interactive. And while I was setting up my table, he found that booth and fell in love with them. I am talking, it didn't matter where we were the whole weekend, he just wanted to be by those droids. Like we could go anywhere else and in five minutes, let's go back by the robots. He's three, he's literally the size or smaller than some of these robots are. They are life size to him and it just lit up his world. As you can see, he wanted to start a dance party <laughs> and he did, uh, which was super cool. And he danced with those droids all weekend. As a parent and as a fan, it's just, absolutely awesome that the magic could happen for him like that at a show like this. So I'm so glad you guys came out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, because you really did make his weekend and probably his year. He is still talking about how he danced with BB-8 and the R2-D2s that shot the uh, lightsabers out of his head and all the things. So it, it's just, he, you made such an impression on him and I can't thank you enough for that. Ready? Ready, ready? Okay. So five. <laughs> Another amazing thing to happen is that uh, Steve, Ryan, and Kim over at Offset Maker Lab came up with just a crazy design for a death racer for me. So I sent them a whole bunch of filament and they said, we'll take care of the rest. But here's the thing, I didn't get to see anything until Saturday morning before the first race. And let me show you exactly how that went. I filmed it on my cell phone when they actually revealed it to me. Let's check it out. What's up guys? I am here at the uh, East Coast Rep Rep Festival on my phone because I haven't had time to get the uh, cameras out and it is crazy. I'm hoping anyone can hear me what I'm saying, but these guys have something special for me and I want to check it out. Uh, let, let's see, let's see this bad boy. I'm super pumped. I'm ready. Jeez! <laughs> what? This is amazing! Oh my god! There's a bamboo printer. There's me driving. Oh my god! This is so awesome! Oh yes! Hot mix. There you go. Hot mix. Hot mail. Oh hot! <laughs> hot mails. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have the hot mails on there. Let's see. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's oh, get over there. There you go. There you go. This is so awesome. Thank you guys so much. I, I'm afraid to. Uh, I'm afraid to race this. This is gonna be awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, there's a toilet. I didn't even see it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Offset Maker Lab. You guys rock. I'm gonna get some more B-roll with the real camera, but uh, this is amazing, guys. Thank you. So as you can see, I was super surprised when this came out from under that table. I had no idea what they were going for, but I never in my wildest dreams thought it would be something like this. This is just everything the channel is. From the edge of desk across the top, 
from the computer because that's what I do for my day job is I, I'm a IT person. From me sitting on a golden toilet or, or toilet, as you should say, uh, to the hairbrush, to the spilled water here with the little Oreos, uh, to the Polymaker filament. This was all made from Polymaker filament, lots of Polymaker filament. And there's little Polymaker filament boxes here. Uh, to the Bamboo Lab printer that's uh, in the back here with an opening AMS. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. Uh, of course, uh, the Edutech logos on the side and the Geary from the Hot Makes show as my, um, my weapon of choice, we'll say. Now this was turned more this way for the race, but I should have had it like that to like smack people, you know? Um, also, you'll notice that this does have the Mechum wheels and it is super crazy to drive. I didn't even drive this until the first race. And if we're being 100% honest, I was so scared to drive this thing. I did not want to break it. <laughs> I did not want to break it at all. We can't forget the really cool picture in the back here of uh, John, uh, or Tripod's Garage and the real Sam Prentice here on the back of the machine too. With the hot makes or hot males uh, <laughs> inside joke there, but they have a hot makes and a hot males plaque in the back and that actually covers up uh, where your battery goes and everything plugs in there. These guys just really thought of everything. Um, the whole thing is a desk, like I said, and it's hydro dipped to look like wood. They just, they went way above and beyond and this thing weighs like probably 10 or 15 pounds. It's so heavy. But needless to say, I did not win any of the races this past weekend because I was too chicken to actually go beat this thing up. I wanted to get it home in one piece. I want to drive it uh, more and use it in uh, races coming up, but um, it was so nice and I didn't want to wreck it. So thank you guys so much at the Offset Maker Lab for putting so much time and effort into this thing. It means so much to me and uh, you, you, I can't even express how thankful I am uh, for this. this, this is pretty cool. Speaking of the death racers, here's some footage while I'm talking. I didn't get a lot of footage of the death races, but uh, it, it was so much fun. A lot of people came, a lot of people left with broken death racers at the end because it's there's a battle to the death on Sunday. Um, but it was, it was a lot of fun. And every time we go to one of these events, the, the death racer community, the, the teams around it, we just grow closer and have more fun with each other. And it's just, it, it is really, it's just a blast. So if you're ever at one of these events and you wanna build one, definitely do it. It is a ton of fun. And this is where I thank today's sponsor, PCBWay. They were a big part of the Death Racers and Sam, Tripod, and I really appreciate everything they've done. So if you're looking for a PCB, maybe a custom 3D print in metal for the gears or something like that for your Death Racer, or even some CNC work, look no further than PCBWay.com. They can help you finish that project up and get you ready for the next event with the Death Racers. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video and also being a big part of our Murph event. Another cool thing I participated in was the Sponsor Derby Race. I don't have any left in front of me to actually show you physically in this video, but while I'm talking, I'll show you some pictures of the amazing model that Fixum Dude actually came up with me last Wednesday. I had one day to print, and we printed them out and went out. The whole thing was so much fun. People just loved them. And uh, we, we took third place overall with one of the racers. So that was a lot of fun. And I really appreciate your time, Fixum Dude, for putting that together like overnight, really, uh, to make that happen. It was, it was a blast to race, as you can see in some of the videos and footage that's going on behind me. And my little guy, Tristan, just, just loved watching the cars go down the track and watching them finish. And uh, we had such a blast as a family for that too. So fix them, dude, thank you so much for that. I also gotta say a huge shout out to Sir Will himself uh, from the Bamboo team who came out and pretty much manned my booth the whole weekend um, hanging out with that A1 Mini. We were the only one in the building to have the A1 Mini and there was just absolute uh, positivity and fandom and people just interested in that machine all weekend. He talked nonstop pretty much Saturday and Sunday about that thing. We showed off prints, we put it into ludicrous mode and we did some really cool stuff there. Sir Will, thank you so much for coming out. It was amazing to meet you in person and thank you for manning the booth. 
I hope we meet again at another event. And Bamboo Lab, thank you for letting me bring the brand new printer uh, that's not, a, not really released yet to the event so people could check it out as well. So after the Death Racers, there was Drag Racers as well. The Top Fuel 3D printed Drag Racers. Uh, Scott from the Edge of 3D puts that on and it was a blast. The Drag Racers are so much fun and no, Nobody let me drive theirs at this event, so I didn't wreck any this year. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of footage while we were talking about that, because that's always a fun event. I love the dragsters and the chaos they can cause when they go crazy, so it's so much fun. Uh, another thing to check out if you're gonna go to one of these events and you don't wanna do a death racer, a dragster is a lot less printing and definitely as much fun. So admittedly, I didn't have a lot of time to take much footage of the event. Uh, I was running around making announcements and doing all sorts of fun stuff, uh, hanging out with the family and just trying to keep up pretty much for the weekend. But I wanted to show off some really cool stuff. So here's a little compilation of some of the cool stuff that I saw at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival 2023. Let's check it out. There's some really cool stuff there and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, just a, a quick brief overview of some of the really cool stuff you can see at these events. And the last thing we need to talk about is that the East Coast Rep Rep Festival will not be coming back next year. Uh, that's right, it's done. The East Coast Rep Rep Festival is over, but they are changing and going forward with 3D Printopia. So this is kind of a controversial thing a little bit. I think some people are a little upset and some people are happy and I fall in the happy side. I say that because to be fair, not a lot of people within the last five years who started printing, say in the last five years, know what rep rep is. So when you have an East Coast rep rep festival, you have a Midwest rep rep festival, you have a Rocky Mountain rep rep festival, it all is just kind of together and they're all amazing shows. They all have individual features and tons of fun, but the people that don't know what that is usually don't come. I don't feel like it's all inclusive because a lot of people don't know what, what Rep Rep is. So with 3D Printopia, it's a 3D printing festival. It's everybody's welcome from the Rep Rep days to the new days everything 3D printing. Uh, not just I'm gonna make my own printer and have a printer print itself and stuff like that. I'm talking about anybody that does anything with 3D printing is welcome. And I really think it's gonna reach a wider audience and make the event even bigger. So while we're still gonna have the Midwest Rep Rep Festival in the end of June usually, and the Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Festival in April, uh, 3D Printopia will be the new event that's in September, October timeframe. 
and I cannot wait going forward to see how that event goes. So congratulations, uh, Chris, Vicky, Nick, the team over there at 3D Printopia uh, for an amazing weekend, an amazing time. Thank you guys for having me as the MC. Um, thank you for being amazing hosts at the event. And I wish you the best of luck going forward with 3D Printopia, where everybody's welcome, everybody's gonna know what it is, 3D printing in a whole, we're all gonna come together and just have a blast for a weekend. I hope you have a great week. Thank you guys for sticking around this long in the video. And if you haven't seen this one, check that out.